But did y'all hear that? Did y'all happen? Did y'all get the opportunity to hear that Drake shit? The new shit? Let me go run this down, find this for you, gang. It, what is it called? Uh, Taylor made freestyle. Pop up immediately. Alright. Alright, gang. Now, hold on. Now, look, right? This what I was saying about dick rot and shit, right? Like, what I mean is that, like, um... People will say that you dick ride Drake. For people that like Drake, it be people running around saying niggas trying to dick ride Drake, yo. That shit always piss me off. You know why? They say the same thing about LeBron James. People said the same shit about Jay-Z. Some of y'all will say, hey, they talked about Jesus. What are you saying, booze? You can't dick ride greatness, bro. No such thing as dick riding greatness. It just show itself to you, right? Now, I'm definitely from like, so as far as like, do like, people like me, like how, what they call it, like, uh, uh, well, my geography of like, of what I like in hip hop, right? Drake is not the norm, like. You see what I'm saying? Like, I'm a 50 Cent Jay-Z. I like crack rap. I ain't even like Kanye as much as I like the niggas. As other niggas like the niggas. Like the Kanye. I'm like, he nice, but you know it ain't really my shit. But it was something about Drake. I was in prison, close to Canada, listening to like Canadian radio station. They got like uh, they they like French Canadian shit. It be motherfuckers on there sounding mad weird, like partly English, partly maybe some French weird shit, right? And that baby, I'm on everything. You want my album on there? Y'all know that shit? The best I ever had. I said, who the fuck is that? Young boys in there said, that's Drake, nigga. You don't know who Drake is? I said, who the fuck is Drake? I thought that was Lil Wayne and shit fire. He said, you don't even know how Wayne sound. You got... I said, because I was locked up for the whole Wayne run too. I just thought whoever, I said, this nigga, whoever this is, this must be Lil Wayne because he's nice. And from that period, while I first heard that song during my bed, all the way till I came home, all the way to like recently, Drake been dropping hit after hit after hit after hit. All type of wild shit. Kiki and Tusi Slide and started from the bottom. Now with worst behavior. I mean, just shit that made you just like, ooh. Just handing niggas hits. And remember, I'm all drug dealing, shoot them up, bang bang music myself. But I love that hotline bling shit, man. I can't lie, gang. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? I love that. What's wrong with y'all? You niggas are crazy. Probably about a year or so. It really was like maybe like nine months. I heard my first Kendrick Lamar song because they moved me down to a prison closer to New York City where I could hear Hot 97. And I heard that pull up, drink. I said, that shit fire. And I heard a lot of other shit he had. And I said, okay, cool. But I never had put him up there with the best rappers. That's not him. I don't, you know what I'm saying? Like, I just never had put Kendrick up there. 
But I had put Drake up there. Definitely around now. Maybe not at that point. But but I never, like, even now, Kendrick just not, like, there for me, right? So, when all the hoopla is going on with Kendrick, I, I didn't get it. I'm not hating, but I just didn't understand it. And now we get to this point. Where I guess him and Drake beefing, obviously, right? I thought that dropping Gimme 50 shit was dope, especially from these for these times when niggas is apologizing and not even like really into it. But think about it like this. Everybody might want it to be more attached to that beef, right? But um why is that necessary for it to be more attached to that beef? It's totally unnecessary, right? We trying to figure out who the best rapper is. Why can't we just rap and make music, right? Why can't people rap and make music? And then we could be like, okay, this is better than this, this hotter than this, and vice versa. But if you dead nice at rapping, what? how much strategy you need, nigga? You been doing this. These the pros. We can get this done quick. We can figure this out. Fuck you think this a boxing match? Fuck is niggas overweight? Mount Norris, what is going on? Niggas can run. And that's how Drake feeling. What the fuck is this a 20v1 nigga? Went to the six and came back with my gun, nigga. Yo, Drake, man, hit me up. You just let me write some shit for you. Illuminati. That's Tupac voice, though, boo. No. Drake tired of niggas pump faking with the AI shit. A word, Kendrick. That was AI. Was you okay? Cool. Let me go ahead and drop some AI shit. Let me go ahead and tell you how the West Coast OGs is feeling about what's going on between me and you. You might have to pause it up and down. Try to avoid the copyright strike if we're going to get one, but we got to get into this. Does rise again. Oh, that's Tupac for you. Stop playing with niggas. You can see it in my eyes again. Oh, okay, yeah. Drake wrote all this shit, though. Okay. Hold on. Uh, yeah. When that shit come on, if you, I mean, if, I mean, we all know about Drake. When that shit come on, nigga. So shit stink, you felt like it was going to be crazy. But you don't know for a little bit because it's the Tupac voice there, I know. Kendrick, we need ya, the West Coast savior. Ain't gravy your name in some hip hop history. If you deal with this viciously, you seem a little nervous about all the publicity. For this Canadian light skin doc, we. Why Tupac talk about Drake like that? I understand Tupac trying to uplift Kendrick just to get Kendrick to go ahead and fire back on Drake. Mr. Champagne Pizzy himself, right? But Drake wrote that shit. Drake wrote that. About himself. Holy fuck! Yo. An urban black female has been known to hunt her prey in the most vicious and mysterious ways. Savagely stalking unsuspecting males through the cityscape. I ain't drunk. I just ain't got nothing for like with for for Drake for the hunt for Drake, so just he but he hunting motherfuckers through the cityscapes of America all the way from Canada. What Pac said, this little light skinned Canadian doc. Oh, this Canadian light skinned doc. We need to know the baby West Coast victory, man. Call him a bitch for me. Talk about him liking young girls. That's a kid for me. Talk about he liking young girls. That's a gift for me. Tupac like, yo, man, talk about that shit. Get on the track and rap about it. Heard it on the button pod. 
Tupac heard it on the Button Podcast that Drake liked to. It got to be true. Yo, this nigga Drake is not playing with niggas. I'm trying. Yo, bro. Yo, listen. It ain't dick riding when it's happening like this, gang. I'm trying to tell y'all some shit. It ain't dick riding when it's happening like this. If you really under, he wrote that, put it in the, he wrote all of that, right? Put it in the, this nigga Drake wrote the best this song about him thus far. Cause it's gotta be true. They told me the spirit of my belly is alive. And the nigga under five foot five, so it's gotta be you. I would beat the whole fucking game. It was me and the prophecy. And you can do it. You are the little engine that could. Huh? You the little engine that could. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? Get out there. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with y'all? You niggas are crazy. Now, I would really like to hear, homie. Though I, 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 I like, I like, I love hip hop. I love battles, especially if ain't nobody gonna get shot and there's no real beef. Like, all right, let's just see who better. I want to see the best two teams in the Super Bowl. The series I want to see for the NBA Finals is the best two teams. I want motherfuckers out there going at it, tearing each other limb from limb for the sport. And Drake seemed to be ready to do that. My fucking shirt off in the house of blues. K, you gotta fuck this nigga, girl. He gotta get abused. All that shit about burning tattoos. He is not amused. That's jail talk for real thugs. You gotta be you. Gotta leave this motherfucker broken and bruised before we really lose. You ask for the smoke. Now Rep I us. How, how Tupac? Tupac is begging Kendrick. Please, Kendrick. This light skinned Canadian, cur activating, wearing. Speedos under leather, leather pants, nigga, from Canada is trying to ride on the West Coast. We need you, Kendrick. Don't let him do this. Busy for the smoke, I won't lie, the people confused. Now you about to get this shit another week. And fall back to home, girl, for run the numbers up. I would have refused. Buddies in the street relationships, she not in your shoes. You supposed to be the boogie man, go do what you do. Unless it's, it's a moment that you tell us it's not really you. And that Let me tell y'all something. Y'all like, oh, Jake keeps saying that Taylor Swift is his boss and this and this. Let me, let me explain some shit, right? You know how you know how motherfuckers be in a certain arena and they be famous, but um they ain't really the best, right? <clears throat> Shout out to Swaggy P. A lot of people know who Swaggy P is, but it ain't like y'all really knew. <clears throat> <coughs> Swaggy P as a basketball. Y'all didn't know Nick Young. Y'all know Swaggy P. But Swaggy P famous than some other niggas that might be way nicer than him that y'all just don't know. But then there's some niggas that's nice. Super nice. And they way more famous than Swaggy P off being nice. Or being nice got them in a position where it's like, okay, let's check out his personality. I.e. LeBron James. It ain't dick rotten when it's greatness involved because it's in your face. You can see it. Can't nobody fucking deny it. Say what you want. Put Drake on some bullshit. In that case, there's nothing left to say. I just pass it to Snow. Nephew. Yes, what the fuck you really got to do? Pass you to... Yo, my nigga. Boo, why would you pause it right there, right? I'm going to tell you why. 
Maybe we hear it different. It's pressure in that. What the fuck you really got to do? Cast you the torch at the house of blues. Y'all missed it? Come on, yo gang, hold on. All right. Say I just passed it to Snow. Nephew. What, what the, the fuck, fuck you really, really got, got to, to do? do? Like, if somebody needs you to get on something urgently. Them motherfuckers done smoked your brother in front of you. What you gonna do? You busy? Load up. Get in the car. It's time to ride. It's time to put heads to bed. You think we here for shits and giggles? You think we came for peanut butter and jelly and Kool-Aid? Drake ain't come for that shit. Passed you the torch at the House of Blues, and now you got to do some dirty work. You know how to move, right? Right? Oh, some people, are, I don't get it. Psych, the big homie talking to him. What you got to do? Yo, bro, it's time for you to put some work in real quick. You got to do some dirty work. You got to get out there and turn up on that nigga Drake. You know how to do it, right? You know what you know how to do it, right? You know what you got to do. You do know, right? You say you that, right? You the best. All you got to do is rap. I know you've never been to jail or with jumpsuits and shower shoes. Never shot nobody, never stabbed nobody, never did nothing violent and no... None of that shit is important, though. That's the weak shit that, like, hip-hop, yo, hip-hop should be so much more than the streets. Nowadays, it seems like it's the streets, but man, of course you don't want Tupac and Biggie situations to happen, but you know how many hip-hop beefs we... Yo, bro, I'm going to tell y'all, some of y'all might be young, it is what it is, right? That Jay-Z and Nas shit was outrageous, bro. Just balls. When Beanie Siegel and Jada Kiss was beefing. It was different. Just rap. That's what motherfuckers like. Oh, word to me. Oh, I got I got some. Fire them up. This why I said don't be dick riding, right? I love Tom Brady. You know why? Cause in a, a word in an arena where it seemed like you can count on no one. Not Peyton Manning. No. You thought it was going to be him. Not Drew Brees. Not Peyton Manning. Almost Peyton Manning. Little brother Eli. No. And some of you giant fans are like, oh, yo, we beat them. You crazy. We got Rick. <laughs> Tom Brady was at the dance all the time. He was tired of the dance. He had danced with all the girls at the dance. He was on all the playoff records. He always was there. After a while, you got to admire the greatness. Well, goddamn. LeBron James was hogging positions in the Western Con in the Eastern Conference Finals. How many years in a row he went? Nine years or ten to the final? Who knows how many years? Oh, you want to go? You got to come on my team. I don't know who else going to go, but we going. All the fuck you got to do is just do the shit.
And that's what Kendrick is not doing. When it's the homies that empower you, but still, you gotta show this fucking out of who's boss on the West. Now's the time to really make a power move. Cause right now it's looking like you writing out the game plan on how to lose. Just saying slick woody shit to him. And now that I listen to it back again and catch everything, yo, that Tupac verse was so retarded. And we ain't even talking about the creativity of the shit. We didn't even talk about the creativity of that shit. And, and like that opening part with nephew. What the fuck you got to do? Like, must you got to do some shit that's important? You ever had anybody that was in authority over you or a big homie said, you got to do some shit? You sitting there looking stupid, looking, nigga, what the, nigga, now nah, go put that work in, nigga, what you got to do? Tupac out here talking about we need you. I never thought I'd hear Tupac say that. How to bark up the wrong tree and then get your head popped in a crowded room. World is watching this chess game, but are you out of moves? Dot, you know the DOG never fucking doubted you. But right now, it seem like you posted up without a clue of what the fuck you about to do. Yeah, um, that's the truth. I'm definitely about to come around the land gang and let my fucking bowel move. Shitting on you niggas from a whole different altitude. Yo. Drake pretending he Kendrick and Drake. Drake want to give Kendrick a piece of his soul. Drake, yo, let me tell you something, right? I know the, I know what type of nigga Drake is. Drake cried over this shit. Drake like, I got all this fucking money and I still can't get a time machine to go back in time and raise Kendrick as my own. So I could give him a piece of me. Make him tougher. Make him feel more confident in his lyrical abilities. You know how... I'm on a fight right now. High up in the sky like I'm Howard Hughes. The first one really only took me an hour or two. The next one is really about to bring out the coward in you. But now we gotta wait a fucking week. Cause Taylor Swift is your new top. And if you about to drop, she gotta approve. It's That's what you said that boo. He keeps saying the Taylor Swift shit. Yo, Drake is at Taylor Swift level, my nigga. Y'all don't wanna admit that no more, cause nigga be hating on that nigga. Haney is gonna whoop his ass, man. This is a stepping stone. Nigga Ryan Garcia was just talking about niggas raping him and holding him down and raping kids in front of him. He's still not ready. He got they just man, they just man, I don't know what y'all bro, man. Listen. Drake, right now, Drake is. Muhammad Allah Tyson Boudini. This girl really about to make you act like you not in a few. She tell a major schedule with Ant, you out of the loop. Hate all you corporate industry puppets, I'm not in the mood. I love it when you niggas talk loose like I'm not in the room. Since like that, your tone changed a little, you not as enthused. How are you not in the booth? It feel like you kind of removed. You trying to let this shit die down. Nah, nah, Yo, bro. nah, 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 nah this nah, time, nah. nigga, you following through. I guess nah, I really need you. That's why he did that. You think... Yo, listen, man. Did y'all hear what Tupac said or not? You can see it in my eyes again. This Tupac. Listen. Kendrick, we need you. Kendrick, we need you. Tupac never said that. He Tupac ain't tell nobody he needed them. The dead homies is crying out, my nigga. The dead homies want war. Fuck it, we gotta hit it again. We don't got, we don't got, uh, we don't got a drop for Drake hunting. Fuck it, we gotta do this. 
minus the urban black females. Drake, just Drake with niggas in his mouth. Oh, that's wild. That was it. An urban black oh, female has been yeah. known to hunt yeah. her prey in the most vicious and mysterious ways. Drake like that line. I'm not lying. It's just happened. He might not normally look like skin. that, but it's greatness. He on his worst behavior, y'all. Did you hear what Tupac said? See, y'all gonna play around. Kendrick, we need ya. The West Coast Savior. Ain't greater your name in some hip-hop history. If you deal with this viciously. He said, yo. You the West Coast Savior. You will be ingraining your name in history if you deal with this nigga Drake viciously. Then Tupac went on to tell him, like, I got a gift for you. They saying on the Joe Button show that he like young girls. Take that and spit some balls. Look at you, Tupac out here watching Pac. He, this nigga, he got Tupac in two, look, yeah, fuck it. And listen, we drinking, it's 420, we smoking, everybody should be in a good space. On the, right now, we saying Tupac alive, God damn it. What's wrong with you? Fuck What's it. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? What's wrong with y'all? You niggas are crazy. Yeah, nigga. He in Montego Bay right now. Tupac in Montego Bay. Ready to just come out of the whole, like, faking the death thing. To talk to Kendrick personally. And Kendrick's so goddamn busy, he probably going to be like, Tupac? Yeah, it's the real Tupac, man. Look, just look on CNN. He back for you. Uh, I'm a little busy right now. And I, I'm you, you too busy to meet Tupac and he came out just to meet you? And Snoop Dogg can't understand, so he like, What the fuck you really got to do? <laughs> I say I just pass it to Snoop. Nephew! Yes, what, what the, the fuck, fuck you really, really got, got to, to do? do? You ain't hear your manager? Tupac is after you. This nigga out here say you had a, a size seven. I don't even know about that shit. I said, I'm like, all right, cool. Mac had to tell me, like, he wear the same size as me. I'm like, no, this nigga don't wear my boo-boo with a doo-doo suit, size shoe shoe. He don't got my boo-boo with a doo-doo size shoe shoe. No, he don't. Ain't no fucking way. But even if he did, no, just, I'm just saying, why Drake saying that? And if you do wear size seven, can you name anything? I'm a big stepper. Or is big stepper for what is big? Stepper? I thought a minute nigga had a big foot. I don't be knowing shit. One thing I do know though is two is, is Tupac was like calling out for him, and and, and Snoop was confused. Yes, yo. What the fuck you really got to do? Passed you the torch at the house of blues, and now you gotta do some dirty work. You know how to move, right? 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 Yo, my nigga, see when I do it now, you get it now. Y'all like, oh, wait a minute. Like when you gotta tell somebody, so I was like, yo, bro. I th so look, right? When he's asking him, you know how to move. He basically, it's rhetorical, basically, right? Like. If you have been in the streets and you got to do whatever you got to do, and niggas like, man, well, you know, you know, you got to do what you got to do, right? Let me put it in that way. You got to do what you got to do. But if you sitting there looking bewildered and confused and frustrated, motherfucker might be like, you do know what you got to do, right? Right? Bro, you ain't. Bro, you wasn't talking that you were, cause you were saying you the big, you the biggest, you the best. Can't nobody fuck with you. All you gotta do is rap. You ain't got to shoot Drake. You ain't got to see Drake and fight him, cause that ain't who Drake is. All you gotta do is out rap him.
to think Drake wrote all that shit. Drake wrote the best diss song about him thus far. You know how fucking crazy that is? Let me tell you what Drake out here doing, right? See? This when shit start going to niggas' heads, man, right? Imagine, for some of y'all, I'm going to say Michael Jordan. Imagine Michael Jordan, tongue out, spin, fade away, shoot the ball, come down, run to the rim, and block his own shit. But what the fuck is you talking about? Exactly. Nigga, Tom Brady, and he's slow as fuck. But somehow it's too easy. Just he throwing, he throwing, he gonna throw a little screen and then somehow run out there and intercept his own screen so he can run it in the end zone. With the whole team chasing him? What the fuck is this? A 20v1 nigga? See, I'm not picking a side. But if we talking about rapping, what the fuck is the issue? I can't wait to hear the Kendrick shit. I hope that shit's super fire. But he just don't strike me as the kind of dude that like, yo, I think that like, because you got, I. Right, let me say this. You got two kind of dudes that are rap like. So you got like the battle rap shit now. But you see it be tailored for a person. Right? But then you got other motherfuckers like, yo, who can spit the hottest verse? Who just the best rapper? Right? <laughs> Kendrick is two reasons why, how kid is two reasons why Kendrick can't really land himself on a we just gonna go off versus shit. Because he kind of was like saying little shit, throwing it out there. And because if you going off just pure music hits, shit right under hits, the baby hits. So you got the hits, the baby hits, the that should have been a baby hit or or the, the, no, the, the hits, that that should have been a hit. The baby hit, that that should have been a baby hit. Now, that, that's a regular hit. Drake got nigga. Drake is lapping niggas. I don't know how many number ones they said the nigga got. How many number ones he said he got? He got more. Well, I don't know what the Beatles got or him. But he probably got shit that ain't go number one. That niggas feel like is better than the shit that went number one. And everywhere you go, niggas rocking it. You know, my nigga. And see, if it's your first time on the stream, you like, yo, something bugged out. No. <laughs> I got the wildest takes in the world. But they always, I'm always right, like, almost 100% of the time. The reason I'm always right, because I'm going to take the right side, bro. Like, if you go song for song, bro, you got to be from homie Hood, from Kendrick Hood. Know him per you gotta have like a reason to be biased. But if you're a regular human in the world, this what you saying right now. If you close to him, maybe from his hood, got a connection, getting money with him, whatever. Yo, you heard this shit? He like turn it off. I'm busy. Don't you? I thought you wanted to do this shit. Does rise again. It's not him anyway. It's Tupac. Look, but Tupac want to talk to you. Rise again. Yeah, he like yo. I know Tupac gonna kill this. This some new shit. He back. They like yeah, he back. We need ya. He, Tupac knows me.
He know a lot more than you. Kendrick, we need ya. The West Coast Savior. Engraving your name in some hip hop history. If you deal with this viciously, you seem a little nervous about all the publicity. He ain't nervous about the publicity. But Pac is a good dude. You know how your mans is wilding out, might get into some crazy shit. Now you got to maybe go behind him and cover for him, come up with some wild excuse. Why he robbed that nigga? That nigga crazy. You know that nigga on medication, man. He ain't been the same since his dog died. This shit ain't right, man.